Yes, Digital Product Family, I hope you guys are well. The sun is shining. I've got my shades on. The sun is out and I'm feeling absolutely fantastic today. But guys, let's get busy. Let's get some work done. And as usual, as you know, as I always do, if you love digital products, you love creating, selling, researching and all of that mad stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And please, guys, I love it when you share. Anyways, let's get going with this. Look, I'm going to show you today how to use one keyword, one word to create many, digi many different digital products by using one word. I'm going to show you my process right now so that you can go ahead and try it out yourself. So listen, without further ado, check what I'm going to do. I'm just going to type in a word. So it's going to be today, it's going to be Safari. Okay, Safari. Now, what I like about this is already Etsy's talking to me. I keep telling you how Etsy keeps speaking to me and it's telling me already what people are searching for. So what you see right now are the different searches that people actually are typing in on the search bar on Etsy. And what's nice is uh, obviously the number, the monthly searches, the actual amount uh, of information you can see is by Everbee, my SEO software in orange. So like I said, guys, these days we've got to use SEO software to be able to help us rank, search, and do all of that mad SEO stuff. So like I keep saying, check out Everbee. You get free access. Link is in the description. Check it out. Free trial. See how it works for you. But for me, it's absolutely essential. You need some kind of SEO anyway. Um, and like I said, this is step one where I would type in a word and I'll see what comes up. So I know that Safari Nursery Decor, Safari Nursery Prints are searched. And look, you've got the monthly amounts um, next to it. You've got nursery, you've got prints, you've got bunting, you've got animals, you've got baby shower, you've got wall stickers, SVG. And funny enough, a lot of these can be related to digital products, right? Which is fantastic and it suits us. Now, so what I will do is I will obviously maybe choose something. So it could be SVG, it could be a clip art. Now that I know that there is a demand for it, because what I'm trying to really identify is the demand for this. Then obviously I want to drill down on obviously trying to make sure that I go into areas that are not so saturated within the Safari kind of designs, guys. But so let's just leave that for now. Let's just get out of this. And let's say I've typed in Safari clip art, yeah? And, you know, it's about long tail keywords, guys. It's about long tail keywords and making sure that you're able to find, um, you know, the watercolor. In this case, I'm going to look at watercolor, Safari watercolor clip art, right? Look, this is me just typing in watercolor and then clip art comes up next, which is good because then it shows me that it is definitely being searched. And then what you see is it's got a nice little number as well. Nice little search number. Look at it. 5,144. Mm, nice little sweet spot. Yeah. I like that little 5K number. Yeah. It can be less or it can be a bit more, but 5K is decent. So that means what it's telling me is that the competition is not too hot and I can get in there, which is what we want to do. We want to get into uh, a niche without too much competition. Because look, Everbeat gets real busy sometimes, it gets real crazy, and we don't wanna go in somewhere where we can't even get ranked, right? It's pointless, it's a waste of time. So, you know, what I would tend to do is, I would start looking around and seeing what these clip arts look like, and obviously get a feel and an idea about how well they're doing. Obviously, I'm gonna go back to Everbeat right now, and I'm gonna do some bit more product analytics where I would just want to see, do these things actually make money? Can they make money? So what I would tend to do is I would go to product analytics, again, using Everbee. Um, I would start doing a little bit more research. Now, listen, it's a few, it's a quite a few points to this in terms of the process. Me personally, I like to filter <clears throat> because I like to see what are the new, are the new listings relatively new? So one to three months, let's say, are they making money? So that gives me a little indication if you can actually make money from this, even though you're a relative newbie. I hope that makes sense, right? You see my videos, how, let me take the shades off, guys. Um, you see how it's interesting to see whether things make money. So straight away, I can, I can, I'm looking at, you know, this one, this top one. 
and it's called a baby safari it's only three month old and it's making 515 usd 86 sales this month mm, fantastic this is what i'm talking about 24 reviews in the month so this relative newbie or re new listing is doing all right right now check out the next part of the process this is a process guys so go uh, it's a step by step now I'm looking at this, I'm looking at all the information, I'm looking at how many reviews it's got, I'm looking at its visibility, I'm looking at its conversion rate, okay? But there's a lot more to this. Um, I like the way it's got specific keyword, um, specific safari animals in the listing, in the title, sorry, and I'll show you this right now. So this listing, look at it, baby safari animals, watercolor clip art, baby shower, lion, tiger, giraffe, zebra, it's pretty much name, naming all the animals it's got 12 in a basket good sign it's a bestseller good sign ticking boxes there guys obviously i'd spend a bit more time looking at the listing in terms of how the images are because obviously it must be appealing for people to be clicking on it right so that first image must be important is very important what i like is they're doing a nice selection of these watercolor animals on that first image which is important and people must like it now let's go to more analysis guys so remember, check this out. We look at the tags, we see what's ranking for. Let's have a look at the tags, for example. Let's see how they're looking. So what's quite nice is there's some interesting things happening. They're actually touching on a few important keywords where they're probably ranking for. So you've got cute safari clip art. So these are cute safari clip arts. It's got a good score of 70, volume of 200, and a competition of 2915, which is pretty good, actually. Jungle Clip Art is another one which has got a decent keyword score. It's got a decent volume. Um, Safari Animals PNG is another one. Watercolor Safari is another one. Safari Baby Shower is another one. And remember, they've got some of these keywords there. I'm sure I saw um, Baby Shower. Yeah, Baby Shower is in the title. So I can see how this particular listing that's making $515 actually is being is ranking because they're using particular keywords to be able to kind of move up so if you're typing in baby shower for example on the etsy um typing it up on the on the search bar this might come up okay so what they're doing is they're getting clicks from different keyword um different keywords okay that's what's happening and they're getting sales from these they're getting conversions from these and this is why it's so important to be able to analyze and like i said again this is using everbee um where actually you need some kind of seo these days like maybe back in the day it w you could get away with not having SEO possibly, but not now because Etsy is so busy right now. It's crazy busy. Now, you've got to take into account it's got a 10% sale for the next three hours. So actually, this is, you know, this one listing, which is making around $500, is actually pretty decent, right? The other thing I just wanted to show you that kind of relates is Safari Animal Print. Now, this is something else. This is just an SVG bundle pattern, but it shows you that keywords that relate like the safari to the leopard print zebra print they do relate and when you start delving into one keyword you can and do your research you can actually move on to other things and find other kind of ways of making money so you know even the safari sort of overarching niches is, is sort of there but yet we're delving a little bit deeper into something slightly different into the prince world and these are prints I mean, yeah, this listing's been around for a while, but it's making $247, right? For one listing, that isn't too bad, guys, either. For one listing, that isn't too bad either, okay? And it, I just want to, like, show you, like, how one keyword has the ability to go into different sort of digital products, okay? Um, and, and this is what this is about, really, today. Here's another one, right? These are specific 100 jungle animals tumbler designs. 20 ounce straight skinny, you know, seven in a basket. Um, these are literally animal uh, themed tumblers, okay? Animal themed tumblers. So it, it's basically, they've said jungle animal theme. Um, so if we just look a little bit, you know, you've got the giraffe there. You've got a parrot there, uh, flamingo there. I mean, uh, there's a few others apart from just, uh, there's a fox, not really safari. <laughs> they're not so safari. Yeah, tiger, yes. Um, but, you know, they're, they're trying to, you know, rank for, and, and it's quite nice. These are quite nice, really nice, cool designs. 
um, and they're ranking for the Jungle Animals Tumblr Wrap Bundle. It's a bundle. Um, so this is another product, if you like. Uh, this is in the Tumblr niche product that has the element of Safari as well. Um, so it just shows you. And how much would something like this make? Again, this is making. Let's have a look. This is making approximately three hundred nineteen dollars. Pretty good for a three-month-old listing, right? That's not too shabby, guys. A three-month-old listing making three hundred nine dollars. That's pretty good. It's got seven in a basket. It's got seventy percent sales. So you got to take that into account. But um, it's it's quite nice, right? It's quite nice. And again, it touches on the kind of safari idea, right? So the word safari, you can take it, extract it, and then use it in other things. So what I'm trying to say is it's about reverse engineering. You don't create a design and then see if there's a demand for it. You literally have to find the demand and then create a design around that demand. Okay, or for that demand, should I say. Um, now, so that's another product, if you like. Here's a different product, right? This is like these sippy cups. Um, I can imagine these being popular. This is, again, this kind of baby um, safari, cute safari animals. I think the cute safari animals was quite a good one to kind of do because that seemed to be quite a unsaturated, particularly unsaturated part. And again, these really beautiful designs for sippy cup wraps. I think sippy cup wraps is an interesting one. This is a bestseller. It's got 20 plus in a basket, so it looks like it's quite popular. And let's see how much this is making. This is making, guys, approximately $207, okay? Oh, massive amount. But, guys, look, it's a numbers game. It always has been. In terms of Etsy, it's about numbers in, in, in listings, as many listings as you can. So if, say, for example, Safari was your overarching niche, let's say you creating products, digital products around it, you know, then, then you know, this could work. So... This is another product that I just wanted to touch on just to show you. And again, this is not like these are PNGs. These are digital products, right? So you get a digital download. Pretty cool. Easy, right? Next digital product in the Safari, if you like, <laughs> niche. Right, check it. This animal, 50 animal print digital paper bundle. I tell you what, these can be quite popular. Um, you know, digital papers maybe traditionally might might not make as much as, uh, let's say, tumblers possibly. But this bundle, 50 digital papers, 12 by 12 inch, 3,600 3, by 3,600 uh, pixel, DP, 300 DPI. You know, these leopard prints, to be honest, I, find, I see them, uh, tiger, leopard prints, zebra prints. I see these actually quite a lot, even on tumblers, right? When you see a bundle of tumblers, I see these all the all the time. They've they've added a bit of cowhide, <laughs> cow. Not exactly safari, but you know, it kind of makes sense what why they're doing it because that's quite popular. And it, and it is supposed to be animals bundle, but um, yeah, this is another interesting one. See, it's another angle of digital products, but within the if you like the safari niche yeah 15 in a basket so let's see how much this is making at the minute so this animals bundle of 50 digital papers is making 193 dollars right not too shabby 43 sales in the last uh month 50 percent sale right now so it's not quite that amount but this is another angle using this kind of safari animal print sort of you know niche if you like again another digital product which is selling now here's a here's an interesting one right there are also obviously you know mid-journey prompts i mean selling mid-journey prompts so you don't sell the actual designs but you're selling the prompts in, themselves and also there are things like if in this case you know you get illustrations safari animal illustrations i can imagine you can create safari animal illustrations i mean these are storybook illustrations with 110 mid-journey prompts but also there are prompts for animals like this one um, which you could sell okay so it's quite interesting because there's a this is a, a different kind of concept but again i mean just to show you what an animals if you like prompts listing would sell for just to give you a sort of flavor i mean this is going for 397 dollars which is not too bad for 110 mid-journey illustration prompts right and that is a three-month-old listing. So it's not too old either. 
Uh, there's 13 in basket, so it's quite popular. It is on a 70% sale, so you got to take that into account. It's a bestseller, though. So can you see there's another slightly different angle? And um, and then you've got something like wall art, or if you like, nursery prints. Now, actually, funny enough, these are quite um, popular. And I'll tell you what, they're popular. There's a little angle to this. And I'll tell you what the angle is. Again, these cute safari animals, people love them, right? These cute safari animals, people do love them. And they are actually um, quite popular for um, uh, for um, on Etsy. But the thing is, see, these are prints. But obviously, you could do printables, if you like. Sell them as printables. Um, again, set up for... This is a set up for... I've seen printables that sell just like this, where they have a, uh, a design created by Midjourney. Um, and if you see, I've done a video, I think, on it, actually, where you've got an affirmation at the top. So in this case, it's be adventurous, be kind, stand tall because it's a giraffe, <laughs> be yourself, right? Be strong. There's a lot of affirmation combined with nursery prints, which can sell quite well. And again, a bit of the floral, which goes underneath. So there is this thing where people actually do like safari nursery prints combined with affirmation and a bit of um, in a watercolor style with a bit of floral. And it's sometimes it's about this combination, guys. It's about sometimes combining things. But it just gives you just a flavor about even wall arts. You can sell wall art with that nurse, with that safari sort of theme. Um, in this case, that cute baby safari animals. I mean, this is making $674. It's a three-month-old listing, but don't forget, this one is a printed one. You can actually do printables as well one, sell it as PDFs because they do sell them on Etsy and they do quite well also. So this is just showing you that in different categories of using one keyword, you can sell many different items just to give you an idea and how one keyword can actually expand and, and become other things and other products. And, and this is just by a process of going through and, and researching really and seeing what sells and again using SEO software. Now you can go further than this and for me it's always in, important to go further. So not only do you, if you like, niche down but you, you niche down further and what I mean by niche down further is that if you're looking at these animals like you're looking at the baby tiger, baby elephant or giraffe or zebra, you niche down even further and you look at something else. So I would look at something like one of the animals. So for example, it might be the zebra. So what you'll see guys is you'll see that the word zebra or zebra will come into many different other products and you'll see even like there's more specific, only one animal, a clip arts, which you can see here. There's also things like a preppy wall art here, um, which people sell. And, and, you know, you'll find many different digital products. You know, look, here's a zebra with sunflower um, uh, tumbler, right? Uh, different kind of stripes, SVG files for the zebra stripes. Um, Valentine's or a heart, sorry, zebra heart, <laughs> SVG. Here's another tumbler wrap. So it's very interesting how things can actually drill down further and further and further until you sub, sub, sub niche. Obviously, you want to just double check and make sure that they are actually something that you can get into. So, for example, this is obviously 5,866 results. So, in terms of results, that's pretty good. But obviously, you just also want to just double check and make sure that they are also profitable um, niches. You don't just want to go into, obviously, just because it's a low results or not a lot of competition. It still may not be profitable. You want to make sure that it is profitable. So again, you need to delve deeper and do your research properly. Look at products that are sold within, let's say, um, that particular item and see how, how they're selling. And that's really a process, one process of, of using one keyword that you can sell with different products and actually go further and sub-sub-niche even more to look at other different products. So... Guys, I hope you found value with this with this uh, video just to give you an idea of a, a particular strategy or a process of finding um, particular digital products. If you did find value, don't forget, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Don't forget, check out all the links in my description. Look at my SEO software. Look at the videos that are coming next. And guys, I shall see you on the next one. Take care.